Welcome to the world E to Z. This is E, and if you're ready, you guys are in store for a chapter two of the Marquee Tool. As you can see, we both left with this uh, Sorum, I think, looking eye from <laughs> Lord of the Rings. I think we can make this a little bit smaller so we can take some of um, it actually out of the middle so you can kind of see what I'm checking to be out. So to make this smaller and only the Y axis, that's uh, height, I'm going to take this off the maintain aspect ratio because if I don't do that, it's going to move everything together. Let me show you. It will move at size and uh, height and width at the same time. So I'm going to take it off and do height so we can get that meow. So I just want to see this Sarum looking eye. I guess I'll make it a little bit higher so we can really get the full effect and give it a little bit of, okay. So we're gonna take this out. Effectively, how are we going to make it white in the background? Let's make it black and have a little bit of fun. And we'll bring the paintbrush tool in a little bit and show you guys what's up. So I'm gonna to try to make this pretty quick. What we're gonna do is use our favorite friend. We're gonna come over to the one on the bottom and it's gonna be the yellow. We're going to come over here and we're gonna hit the mask tool. We need this, oopsies. I want to make sure and click this uh, on the left hand side, the black and white, make sure it's on the white. White takes away, black uh, brings back or keeps and won't do anything. So you're going to be like, well, nothing is happening. Okay, so I'm going to select, command select the blue and I'm going to turn it off. I don't want to see it anymore. I've used it for what I've needed it for, which is just its edge. I'm going to come over here and make sure you are on, you see the, you see how it goes white? Uh, on each side, uh, the outlines on whichever one it's uh, w working with, make sure you are on the mask. Or you're gonna, gonna be like, oh my god, I've been working on my original. So all you're gonna do is hit delete. Oh my god, how easy was that? Command D. And that was it. I may save this shape for if I need it again or something, and that's really it. So how do I put black behind it? Super easy. I'm just going to come over here. I'm actually just, yeah, I'm going to do it with the paintbrush. Um, and you can actually do it with a with this black, with a replication of this, but it may, let me show you. I'll just put it on the bottom and we can, I'm going to take away this uh, disable layer mask and I really don't need it. I'm going to delete it and I'm going to make this a different color so you'll see it on the background. You can make it any color you want, you know, really. But you will see this edge on the inside and we can make it a little bit smaller so we don't see that edge just a little bit so it goes inside but not you know inside there that's pretty good enough for not stays work so you can either do it that way which there may be like right here on the bottom there may be a tiny like a pixel or two missing that really makes that come together and not a hard uh flat edge but if you're working with something that's going to be really small like this no one's going to see that shit or care so let's come up here i'm going to delete this create a new layer and make sure it's underneath this other one you can also come over here to paintbrush i'm going to make sure that it's on uh hit the little paintbrush uh in for like um it's the different settings for the paintbrush where, you know, different angles and stuff, which really matters on things that aren't circles, plain circles. This is um, going to be great soft round. Uh, hard round we're going to use right now just because we want a hard layer behind. So we're going to come over here. I always hit over here or else you're going to get another black mark. Command Z. So here's super small. I'm just going to um, hit the bracket, the right bracket tool, and make it pretty big. And just bump. Is it on 100%? No. I can tell that the flow is not high because I'm seeing something behind it. So make sure the flow and opacity are at 100. And I just... A few little... Boop. And I know that I'm 100% within that space. And that looks better to me. Anyways. That's really it with that marquee tool right there using that like that. So turn these off. I'm going to get rid of these. How do I make a border around my page? Easy. I'm just going to come over here and I, I like how it has uh, the 90 degree edges. Um, 
and I really just make a little box, put it here in the corner, and drag it, make the other box here in the corner over here, make a new layer. I'm going to right click inside of the dancing ant stroke. Let's see what five pixels does on a five by five inch uh, form. Here's in the center. Center doesn't always really give me sharp edges. You kind of got to see what gives you sharp edges. It's either inside or outside will give you sharp edges and you kind of just have to see. So let's see. Enter command D. Looks like I did get some sharp edges. So they're nice and sharp. And that looks great. Command T. I can obviously make it smaller, have something inside of there. But when you start to do things like that, and uh, as you can see, it starts to mess up the evenness of the width. And since you're really moving the height and it compresses it. So things can get kind of tricky and um, odd in certain places. So a lot of times I like to do, um, let's say the marquee tool. And I like to just, uh, I'll select and do Command J and it will rep re replicate whatever is inside of that marquee. And that is like the best thing ever. So I'll hit Command J and this is, I'll hit that, I'll click the original off so you can see what's left. And that way I can re replicate lines any size that I want and do a bunch of things that are easy for me. Um, if and that's what I want to do if that's my prerogative. So uh, this helps a lot in photo editing, things like leaves, trees. Uh, I'll come over and I'll select an area. Let's say I'll, I'll, it'll be a marquee or a marquee circle. Um, let's do a marquee circle. Command D to deselect. A marquee circle. Command D to deselect. Sorry, shift circle. And <clears throat> I'll do Command J of like maybe flowers or leaves. And then I'll bring it over here, rotate it, and uh, soften the edges with the erase tool. And I'll show you guys that in some photo editing stuff. So it really melds in and you can create patches of stuff all over the place to really make your stuff look better or more put together if there's a lot of holes or something like that. So. You know what, I'm actually just going to show it to you because it's really useful and the marquee tool is really useful for it. So everything that I'm going to be working with is probably going to be from Pexels. I'm not paid by it. I just want to use it. Hands is going to be for another one. So let's say it's whatever, this one. And you got a lot of things going on here. I'm going to just uh, actually trees. Let me see if I can get something that's a little bit not as compact. Just the fastest internet ever. Is anything going to catch with my fancy? Let's pick this. <coughs> I like the ground here. Free download. Okay. <coughs> okay, I'm just going to drag it into my shish. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because I don't really care about the top. I'm kind of worried about the bottom. And what we're going to do over here, I'll just fill it up with a layer. Okay, so I'm going to make a duplicate, Command J, just because uh, I don't want to fuck this up. I'll turn it on. I'll actually highlight it or click it and hit the <sighs> lock box so I can lock that shit away. I'm going to click this one. I'm going to rasterize it or it's going to say, you can't do anything. And I really want to do things. So I'm going to come over here to the marquee tool and... Obviously, this can be, um, this is, when I want to rotate things and cannot use the patch tool, this is what I will use because with the patch, uh, um, the clone stamp, I cannot rotate how I want to. So, yeah, I get it there. Okay, so I'm going to come over to the marquee mm -hmm. and I'm going to press shift. And I'm going to press J to duplicate. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm just going to put it over this rock. 
Um, maybe this rock. And I'm going to take that off and hit the width a little bit. And not that I really want to rotate this. I'm just showing you guys another word. Hit. Enter. Okay, I'm going to hit the opacity down just a little. I'm going to um, come over to this because I don't want to work on my original piece. I want to work on the mask. Not the original. Never work on the original. Never work on the original. Never. Never work on the fucking original. Ever. Because, I mean, unless you need to do that, then you gotta. Okay, so I'm gonna come over to the E, erase, and I'm gonna come over to my soft brush, and I'm going to turn the opacity down pretty low. I'm gonna make it bigger, and I'm gonna see what that does. Here, we're doing around a nice, a nice of the rim. Rim, 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 I'm just getting rid of that hard edge. And I'm going to file adjustment brightness, probably make it, no. And we're over here. I see a little bit of sun where it's probably a little bit of natural right here. So I'm going to just move it a little or I can use my arrows and hit enter. And that way when you're here, you have no idea that that other rock was was there. I could probably, is that a little bit of the erasing? No. Could never tell that rock was there. Let me move it over a little bit there. Oh. And that's just a way to, oh, I can probably do it even better over here. Let me get the marquee. I'm going to come over here again, meow, and somewhere where it will be consistent. So probably like right around here. Command J, Command T, and I'll do edit, transform, flip horizontal. It's going to flip it horizontally. And I'm just going to put it over here and see how that does. Enter. All you see is the harsh edges. Don't work on the original. Work on the mask. Hit the eraser or E. I'm going to go down a little bit. And just get these edges. And it's like it was meant to be there. Let me turn it on and off. So I can take away some darkness <clears throat> in this image. Command T, uh, Command J, Command T. Right here, I'm going to flip it back, transform horizontal, maybe rotate it by coming over here to the top and rotating a little bit, backing it up and down. <clears throat> Command J, Command T. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, move it over here and angle it. Now the same bush or plant, I'm going to co connect all these three. So I'm going to hit sele shift select. Or I'm going to hit one uh, command, holding it down one at a time. Because if you hit shift and shift here and then shift here, you can do that. But it'll start getting like iffy when you start hitting things back and forth. So I usually always use command. Or if it's a bunch, then I'll use shift. But I'll just use shift or command right now. <clears throat> One, two, okay. I'm going to merge so you can kind of see the difference. I'm going to right click while those are all selected. Merge layers because I'm not going to do anything with them now. So we see a big, a nice lush area right here. I'm going to turn it off. And it's pretty dark. So it's a nice way to uh, brighten up a scene. And that was all from the marquee tool, which was really helpful. All right. That was it. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed and this was an easy tutorial for you because it can help your workflow uh, exponentially. This has been the world E to Z. Have a great day or night or whatever. <laughs> Bye.